Alright, hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another quick little video. I know, real strange, real quick, that I've got two videos within two weeks. Right now, I'm no longer in my dorm for you guys, but right now, today, it is Thursday. So, two days early, one day before the other video. I did not get into For Honor, though, from what I can tell. But, uh, I was looking through the internet trying to find some new wallpapers for my um, laptop that I have right now. And I kind of wanted to um, get some that were really cool and something that really kind of snedded out. Like a bunch of them. I've got four, five, six, seven. I have seven new wallpapers. But I came across something. I I was searching for something. And something that I have actually written on my door that is completely kind of irrelevant to something. But it on my little whiteboard thing on my door, it says continue life because you have to, not because you want to. So with that kind of said, um... I kind of wanted to get something more orientated around that, uh, in a sense, that I wanted to get something more around kind of something inspirational and um, either put it on the door or um, just kind of do something with it, but or maybe put it as my wallpaper and just kind of have that as myself. But one thing I did kind of find, um, I found this um, picture here when I was finding, now I'm, I, I can't read who it's by, the quality's too, like, crap but um the thing at least what it says is um don't worry about the people stealing your design um worry about the day they stop stealing or they stop trying to steal so basically what um that kind of says to me is that so okay i'm working on a project right and uh, you know my project is to make a better um Jimmy John's or whatever, okay? And Jimmy John's sees that uh, I'm trying to make a better, like, Jimmy John's kind of thing. So, this is just an example because I have this right next to me. It's a little fire thing so I can get food whenever I'm hungry. Uh, so, right now, you know, we got this, alright? I'm trying to make a better Jimmy John's, so... Alright, you know, here's my better Jimmy John's. I know, it's a Pokeball. And here's Jimmy John's. And, you know, and we'll do representation. So... They see I'm here, so they go, okay, so like, right, they know I'm here, so I'm trying to steal their work, so, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of rising, and I'm like, I'm slowly getting better than them. They kind of notice it, so they kind of start rising, and they kind of go, ah, why should we worry about them? They're gonna be almost pointless, and then I, I keep kind of stealing ideas from them, and I get to this point, I go, well, I'm out of ideas, and I keep stealing and stealing and stealing, and then they're going, and then they're slowly running out of business. So the idea from that I'm getting there is... If you're working on a project and someone wants to steal that project, it's probably a good project. If you're working on something and no one wants it, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad project. It just means that no one's either interested in it or no one thinks it'll work. But if it does work and people start getting more interested in what you're doing, then they'll get more interested and more trying to steal what you do. And within that said, the more people that want to steal your work, I mean, it could be the better, could be for the worse. But it, at the point in the day when they stop trying to steal your work, when you know that is going to be a great project, and no one um, notices it because no one's trying to really steal it, so you're not trying to push it out and make it yours and claim it, it then gets to the problem to where you um, run into this thing where you're sitting there going, well, why am I not getting stolen from? Why is this other guy getting stolen from? He's doing an idea that's going to completely not work. And then he gets stolen, and it turns out it doesn't work. And then you make your breakthrough, and it does work, but no one tries to steal it. And then it doesn't seem as big, and no one notices it as much, and then it kind of seems to be on the down low. What are you going to kind of do about that? Like, you can't really do anything about that. So what I'm saying here is, if you're working on something, and someone wants to steal it, continue working on it. Continue making that project more worth on stealing, but make sure that you are doing it at a rate where it's being safe and protected um because if it's like a million dollar project and you're gonna make millions um don't give that to someone else um keep that to like keep that profit to you now i'm not saying like keep the money to you keep the profit to you the money kind of comes in from whatever you make or whatever you do or whatever you build and design and sell to people with, with whatever that, that profit you make, you know, put it in your account, you know, donate half of it to charity, do whatever you want with it, it's your money, not my money. Um, but with all that said, keep on pushing towards what you can do. What I'm right now doing is, I just finished all my homework, and I was looking through, and I found something that made me want to keep on pursuing YouTube. 
that's something that um hasn't really happened much a lot of the times it's just been like oh a new game came out i guess i'll try and record that and then i run into the problem where i want to play the game more than i want to more than i want to record it because i just want to play the game i don't want to have to i want to play for 10 hours straight and i have a 10 hour video file to cut down and work with i did that for five hours and i ran out of video or i ran out of space so i've been trying to cut down on that and it's been going pretty eh but i mean it's getting there um it's definitely hard sometimes to work with all this stuff but i found someone that really wanted to make me to continue pushing and continue doing my work on youtube and youtube is not just to me it's not just something i do in my spare time i actually really am pretty trying to be fully committed to it and at some points it's very hard due to the fact that um the limit of people that are there and the limit of things that go on uh if i sit here and i talk and i talk for an hour or whatever and it just you people like go to the channel they're just like oh this guy's gonna rant for an hour about something and one i am ranting too because uh, there's a lot of people that I come across that they just don't push themselves anymore. They expect someone else to push them. They expect someone else to carry them. They expect someone else to be there to push them up. Now, that's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's good because most of the time it's those, it's their parents. Um, The bad thing about it is when their parents make it the only thing that they have to rely on is their parents. So, like, let's say uh, I'm a kid, okay? I'm another kid. Um, like let's say like I'm a, I mean right I mean guys um and my parents say okay um you got to be home by five okay bye and I leave and I go to the park at like two all right so I got three hours at the park one of my friends comes over and like hey like you want to go chill at my house for however many time we have left and you'll, my parents will drop you off there I'm like yeah sure why not and I get there and you know we're doing all this stuff and their parents are like their parents are like, oh yeah, you know, if you ever need help or anything with anything, if your parents that um, or your parents aren't willing to help or they're too busy, you know, come over and ask us and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. And then I head back home. My parents are like, well, why'd they tell you that? That's not their job. That's our job. Don't let them do that. And they block that communication and they force that communication to not exist because now you can't go to the park. Okay. So now I'm used to going. Okay, so I have to constantly ask my parents for help. Now that's that's the bad situation. Because if your parents, like, let's say both of them, all right, so both my parents now work, right? And so I never get to see them. And I'm now however much older, and I'm now taking a big test for my grade. Maybe, maybe I'm, okay, I'm trying to graduate high school, right? I'm in my senior year of high school, and I'm trying to graduate it. And I need help studying. And my parents both work, and I constantly ask them, hey, can you come help me study for this? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And through all the other years, they had helped me study, and they had helped me do all this other stuff. And at that point, when they walk out and leave, it then makes it where I'm dependent on them for help. And they cut out all the other communications with other people so I can't get out and get help. And then I end up failing high school. This is very hypothetical, though, because I'm sure a lot of people would be able to figure this out on their own. But if I was one of those very slow learners or people that didn't have a brain that was very adept at teaching themselves, it'd be very hard to get out and do this stuff and graduate and be very successful at a rate. Because there are people that can be successful at a rate. And what I mean by that is being successful at a rate. So the faster you're more successful, the higher that rate will go up. And you make more money and faster and faster. The slower you are successful, the slower that rate's going to go up. So, you know, if you're really successful, it's just going to... If you're kind of slowly going up, I mean, one day you can hit the point and you just go... You just shoot straight up. And at certain points in time, you're going to need help from someone. Uh, right now, I'm probably, I'm hitting a project. And now in this project, it's going to be pretty big. And I can't just do it on my own. So I have a partner. And my partner and me are going to work together. We're going to help each other out and getting problems done and getting stuff figured out. And when does this thing need to be done? How it needs to be done and where? But yeah. So, you know. The thing I have at my door, too, is, like, it's just whenever people walk by, I want them to see that and read it and go, it's, I'm not just telling you to see that sign and go, and just, like, oh, you know, like, I feel depressed or something. Like, it, it, it could partially because of that. I'm not saying it is or not. I'm never going to 
kind of really say the answer to really many people, I guess. Or, I don't know. But yeah, like, I mean, for people that are depressed, they don't really share that stuff very often. But um, with how that kind of works, you know, if you're sitting there and you are, um, like, you know, you walk by my door and you see that sign, it says, you know, continue life because you have to, not because you want to. It's telling you that there may be, like, I'm not just saying, like, hey, there's a better end to this. I'm not saying there's a there's a worse end to it. I'm just saying continue life and find out for yourself. You're never going to know unless you find out. And if it gets worse, then, well, you, you chose to keep going, though. That's the important part. The wanting to end your life is very serious and very big, especially in very young ages. And I've met a lot of people that have had dealt with families who have suicidal. I've actually met a lot of friends. A lot of friends of mine are very suicidal. They at least don't attempt it, but they feel that one day if they got to their very lowest and people just kept pushing them down, they would. Um, for one of my friends, I've probably stopped them from doing this terrible deed multiple times and all I did was ask him how their day was okay and with my uh, freshman orientation for college we sat down and one of the um, one of the guys up there was talking about uh, one of his best friends who now he didn't commit suicide but one of his best friends died at a very young age due to a disease which is completely different from suicide but just imagine if instead of a disease, that kid decided to kill himself. Imagine how much more of an impact it would have. Not just saying because like, oh, he died because of a disease or like whatever. He The kid died, like he said, he, like they're in like elementary school. That's like you're five years old to about 12. Now, to me, that that's a pretty big deal. Like, I mean, understanding that the kid had a gen like a disease, like I think he said he had cancer maybe. I can't remember though. But, like, you have a disease that's going to kill you in this X amount of time, and it's going to be, well, you're going to die. And it's like, well, crap. You li you can live past it sometimes. You can live under it sometimes. And the doctors usually are never on the dot. Like, it's six months exactly from today you're going to die. It's going to be, like, six months you're expected to die around in that area. You know, you have maybe five months and 24 days and you die or... And, you know, the doctor would be like, you know, I'm, I'm generally, they're, they're like, I'm, that was pretty accurate. Like, you know, he was like a day or two off, you know, or like probably like if they're like a week off, you know, it's kind of like, man, you know, that's pretty close. I mean, if they were like, if you survived another two years, like, oh, man, that that doctor was like, wow, this is astounding. You're living through this treatment and this disease and you're fighting it back and all this stuff. But one of the things is that um like. You know, if this kid went off and, you know, let's say, okay, so these kids are now 10, all right? My freshman orientation leader person is 10, and his friend is 10. And his friend's got the cancer, all right? His friend dies of cancer. Everyone really bummed about it. Now, if their friends and this kid commit suicide, then it causes, like, this thing of going, well, why do you commit suicide? So they all go into this research about it. And then with all the research... It then you're just sitting there going, okay, so this kid committed suicide, you know, maybe his parents didn't like them, love him as much, and maybe the kid just didn't feel the love that much. So they investigate through that, and they find nothing. Maybe the parents were fully supportive with everything that kid did, and it helped him out through everything, and they always told him they'd be there for him, and all of a sudden he's dead. And it's like, okay, so probably not the parents. And they go to the school, and they, they ask around. Apparently, they go to the nicest school ever. All the kids there are so nice. They, they never bullied him. So they go going, well, okay, and then they go up to the teachers and I figure out like maybe the teachers were being mean to him or maybe they just made him feel uncomfortable and no, no, they made him feel like he was a great person and they just cannot pin it down to why this kid's dead and why he did what he did and they eventually get to the point to where like, you know, like I'm not saying like the kid accidentally committed suicide, it's not accidental either, but like this kid's committed suicide and it's like, why did it all happen when a lot of the times you have a lot of people or a lot of things that bring you down. Uh, it could be maybe a friend just like, he just blew up one night, all right? Um, 
he just tripped over a rock and slammed his elbow really hard and he broke it and he was just really mad because it, it could have just completely avoided because he was just being an idiot and then the next day he was just really mad and he was just pinning on you for some reason all right and you know you're just sitting there going like oh god damn it man all right you know he's calling you an idiot and he's calling you stupid and all this stupid stuff and you're just sitting there going like yeah uh -huh. and you're just taking it and you're just taking it all right the biggest thing is is if someone's beating up on you it's either because they have you have something they want or you have something that they wish they could have and they just don't feel it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in that next video.